This is the Mouse Harvester. It is one of the cooler legendary camos Wargaming has released in a while. Features by far the most detail out of any camo in the game. It has a lot of moving parts, and most specifically, four lights on the turret. Now, the other day, I made a video talking about why these lights are quite influential against lower skilled players, because people that don't know many weak spots on the mouse are going to see the turret, they're going to see those lights, and it's going to make it harder to tell what to pen and what's not. Because there's a lot of people in the comments that are like, well, the lights are also making it easier because it's a giant shoot me here, but if you don't know where the mouse's weak spot is to begin with, those lights are not going to help you figure it out. And you can't see what is a pen and what isn't easily anymore. So because of that, I still easily believe that this camo is one of the dumbest when it comes to making your tank look stronger than it actually is. And because of that, in today's video, we are going to be doing a play to lose in the mouse harvester. Well, enough chit chat. Let's see exactly what the mouse can do in today's video. Personally, I don't think it's going to do anything absolutely insane, but I guess we'll have to see. I like this tank a lot, but you rely on your mediums to not suck, and that is a big reliability, because if your medium flank falls apart, you lose. I uh, had a battle just five minutes ago on Lagoon, where my Progetto was AFK. Guess what? We got flanked, and uh, that was the end of the mouse. The moment you have autoloaders or just high DPM vehicles get to your side, the capabilities of this tank instantly fall apart. It's very disappointing, but that is the biggest downside of the mouse. I mean, this thing has great DPM. 2700 is enough to cut through anything in front of you. It's got enough armor that you'll get bounces, and it's got enough HP that you don't even have to worry about the armor not working too much because you can just get bounces uh, all day. So it, it is really a dangerous tank in that regard. In fact, we just got an 800 bounce, which means we know where the Yag is all the way in the back. I'm going to get up here. Yep, there you go. There's the Yag. You think you're sneaky. You're not. I'm going to aim it on your lower plate and uh, miss. And then we're going to get shot by a minnow once for 500. Oh, boy. Great example of, again, just things getting to the side of the mouse and causing it to uh, not have too much fun. Let's aim it on the... Mm. Oh. Oh yeah, and the 183 shoots us. Man, the uh, the mouse is doing great so far. It's really, uh, it's been an enjoyable experience. I can't pen that minnow anywhere. Thankfully, at least we're a distraction, because that's all I can say. And there you go, finally our first pen of the game. Alright, well, we still have uh, 1600 health left. It's really annoying that the 183 is back here as well, but not much I can really do about that. Love to be able to hit the minnow but he is not allowing me to have that uh, that luxury right now. All right, well, I'm just going to poke it. Not much else I can really do here. Let's see, we got the 907. That was a bad shot for me. I didn't think the 907 was going to roll around the corner, so I didn't really expect to pre-aim it, but that's all right. We're going to poke him here, get an easy shot out. Of course, though, the 183 hits me again. Hello there, Mr. E5. There you go, nice 389 damage shell. Oh, yeah. Bonk. Thank you very much for your HP, good sir. Got the E5 in front of us. And we're going to get an easy pen into the E5. Bye-bye. All right, we got the Yag in front as well. Let's aim it on the Yag. Not sure if he's going to allow us to get some free damage out. There you go. Does end up penning me, but he had the fire heat shell to pen us, which means that we are indeed still alive. All right, Mr. 183, you're not special. Goodbye. And all that's left is the Yag Panzer at this point. We're going to get to the side of the Yag. And we should be able to get a bonk out. And there you go. Well, surprisingly, what was a very mediocre game turned into a rather good one in the end. I don't know what this Yag is doing. <laughs> Alright, well there you go. That's a win. A uh, very annoying win. And you can see where the mouse struggles. It's high alpha tank destroyers. Also, our game crashed. How fun. High alpha tank destroyers are always going to be a struggle for the mouse, and it's a pretty simple explanation why. Let's say I poke and a 183 shoots me, and I shoot him back. Well, yeah, I mean, I can kill the 183. I'll take 460 off him, and if we probably traded, I think I would kill him maybe before he killed me. The thing is, though, three shots from a 183, and I'm down to about 500 health. That's it. Three shots. So all that has to happen throughout the entirety of a battle is a 183 has to poke a corner that I'm not looking at, or 
has to just aim it on my turret cheeks because the thing has 320 mils of pen, and boom, I lose a third of my health. Now, if you're in a heavy like a Super Conqueror or, you know, something that's smaller that can get hauled down, it's not the end of the world. Because even if you do lose, let's say, you know, 25% of your health, for, or, you know, 30% of your health from a 183, the thing is, is that you have uh, enough DPM accuracy and you're a smaller profile to make the vehicle still work. But when you're driving a mouse, the whole shtick of this vehicle is the the way the tank is designed. It's the it's the big profile. So when you lose all of that pushing potential from 183s, it definitely defeats the purpose of the tank, in my opinion. Now, we've already been shot here quite a bit, which is honestly really annoying. We're in a really awkward spot right now. Oh, we got the Fosh off to the side. There you go. Nice pen into his vehicle. We're going to reload. There you go. Nice bounce. Some ones from the Fosh. And we're going to aim it on his roof. There you go. Wow. Fire AP and it rolls 383. Now we got the Chieftain aiming at us. Just going to keep the turret on an angular here. And then we can turn it towards the Chieftain. There you go. Okay. Again, mouse gun. <laughs> it's not good. It's not good. It's really sad, honestly. Oh, man. All right. Well, I'm not worried about the Chieftain. I'm not worried about a lot of things in this game. Right now, the biggest threat is that enemy Minnow. I physically can't pen it anywhere. Well, apparently I can. That should not have penned, but it did. Yeah, the Minnow um, is, is basically impervious to the mouse gun in most situations, which is a little annoying. I'm not going to lie. The IS-7 just got nuked. I'm just going to go for it. I don't really care if that minnow shoots at me. Kind of hoping that we can just get some damage out here. Full speed ahead. Full speed ahead. Hello, VK. Move out of my way, you stinkers. Uh, wait. Uh, duh. I'm going to save my 183. I got you, bro. I got you. Uh, no, I don't think I can save him any longer. No, unfortunate. I tried my best. wonder how much I can ram this guy for. Eh. Well... It wasn't much, because he only had 48 HP left, but at least we did 48 hit points. There you go, I'll take it. That's 110 damage I wouldn't have had. We're at 2,600, which isn't a bad result. It's nothing crazy, but uh, it's a good example of the mouse. Oh, The Minnow is such a hard tank to HE. I mean, you can see with HE, the entire front is red. There's not a lot of tanks that are red with HE, but the Minnow, it's a strong, strong vehicle. Either way, a pretty solid game and a victory at that, so I can't get all too mad. That's two wins in a row. As I said, the major way you're going to lose in the mouse is either A, you get nuked by TDs and you no longer have pushing potential, or B, you uh, just get outmaneuvered by mediums. Those are going to be your big ones. Or haul down heavies. Haul down maps where heavies are able to use their gun depression against you absolutely destroy this vehicle. If you're on a map where the mouse can obviously take advantage, then it'll be fine, but that's definitely something you're going to have to keep in mind. By the way, I watched Dune uh, yesterday with Flossie, and wow, that movie was mid. I gotta be honest. I didn't watch the second one, because I think it's in theaters, but I watched the first one, and I did not think that movie was anything special. I do not understand how that movie grossed $400 million worldwide. I mean, it was alright, but, like, there was nothing exciting about it. It was just, like... It was a really mediocre movie. I'd give it a solid 5 out of 10. Star Wars is way better, and uh, I stand by that. But let me know in the comments what you guys think about Dune. I really did not think the movie was all that impressive. But, we'll see. We got an E100. We got a VK-72. They have two VK-72s, which is going to be absolutely painful to fight. Alright, well, there's one of the VKs. Let's see, the other one appears to be going wide. And usually when people go wide, they cross here showing their side armor. There you go. And we get a nice 520 damage shot. Alright, not bad. Let's reload. And let's see if I can get another shell into the VK. Aiming. He does pen me, but the VK has to fire heat. And we've dealt 900 damage. He only has 1700 health left, so that's an absolute dub on my part. We can see where the HP on the mouse definitely is a big advantage. I mean, the fact that you can just out-trade your opponents without really worrying is really, really nice. 563 damage shot into the enemy T-30. We're going to put on our adrenaline. We're going to reload and turning the turret. Bonk. There you go. 423 damage shell. 
Gonna angle the turret again. This is where obviously having the DPM on the mouse feels great because we got 2700. That VK taking his time. Oh, I gotta take my time and aim in that shot. Well, in terms of the mouse, that's actually not a good strategy because of how much DPM the vehicle features. Apparently we can just cut through that guy's mantlet and uh, I did not know that, but now we just sit here side on. The O is going to aim it on me. Look at that. He just lost a thousand health to do that. Oh, yep. Still getting nuked. And, ah, unfortunate. But, doesn't really matter. That That's the best part about the mouse. It really doesn't. I mean, look at this. T30 shoots me. And, we're getting bonked by everybody here. But, we still have a thousand one hundred health left. And, they're all dead. This is why this tank is so good on win rate this month. And, we're still at three thousand damage, which is quite nice. Again, the accuracy, I mean, you can see even... 50 meters away, aiming on this mount, or this IS-8. The shell could easily stray off course and bounce. But, it doesn't really matter, because, I mean, look at look at how easily our team is steamrolling. It's not even close. All that's left is a Sheridan, who most likely is somewhere off towards medium flank. I would expect to be going towards our spawn, so that's exactly where I'm going to head. Now, my loadout on the mouse, I'm running double sandbag and enhanced armor. That way, I've got over 3k HP, and... I've got a lot of armor. I'm not sure how much enhanced helps you, but this is definitely a tank that I feel like running enhanced on does give you a big benefit, especially on those turret cheeks. We got the Sheridan in front. There you go. That was a lucky shell. This tank does not usually hit those shots, but 4,000 damage dealt and uh, another easy win. So not too many complaints from me here. Also, if you're wondering why I'm not showing the stat tracker, it still has that bug from yesterday where it's got a big black bar. Uh, but we can see my uh, my current tally of wins. We started on Yamato, and now we are on Alpenstadt. So uh, we're doing pretty good here. We get to claim a Dune thing. Oh, yeah. Free XP boosters. I actually might be able to claim that free crate. Yes. I get to open a crate on stream. Here we go. Boom. You know what? I'll take it. 500 gold. Not too bad for, uh, for the container. All right. Let's keep going. We are... Not too far into the video, but I'm hoping that we can get at least 30 minutes. The VK-72, I got a really good one in. I think it was almost an hour. And that's really solid. It shows just how strong the VK-72 is. The, the VK can actually deal with mediums because it's faster and it's got a lot of alpha, which means if a medium makes a misplay, you can bonk them. Plus, it's got similar DPM. It's got like 2,600. The mouse is 2,700, but... I do not like the accuracy on the mouse. Uh, if this tank had the VK-72 gun, it would be the most overpowered tier 10 in the game. So, <laughs> that's a good way to describe it. Alright, well, we got a really good map. Being Himmelsdorf. This is obviously fantastic for a vehicle like the mouse. However, we don't have any support. So, that's really bad. Mm, I mean, I'm not going to get too mad because we can still hopefully be able to send the medium flank. Just a little, a little annoying that, that we're not going to be able to do much, at least for the first minute or so in the game. I'm also really worried that I'm going to be flanked, so we need to maneuver out of here as fast as possible. Look at that, we already got a concept on our rear. The fact that that player made that aggressive, like, why are these guys making these aggressive maneuvers so fast? That is not common. Alright, well, how fun. Not surprised at all. This is what happens when you don't hold the heavy flank at all. I'm going to have to turn around, most likely. What's really going to happen is I'm probably going to die, but we'll see. We'll see. The uh, enemy hover is dead already, and what I'm hoping is that we can stop the enemies from moving over here, and we can get some big dubs out. So we got the E4. I'm just going to angle the turret. There you go. E4 bounces. It's always better to try and get bounces from T... Okay. Mouse gone! Oh yeah! It's so good. Alright, let's aim it on the E4 hatch. Oh, God, that went a year away. Well, I doubt we're going to do any damage this game, but uh, we'll get the win. Oh wait, we got a chieftain. That I know I can damage. That's an easy pen. And bonk. Alright, nice. 420 damage out into the enemy chieftain. Let's reload. See if we can get a little bit more out. I don't really care about the VK-72 or anything like that. Um, but, bro, he's going to move up here. All right, let's back up. Let's let's pretend we're not here, and then he's going to hopefully roll around. Nice. Then we can aim it on his tank's lower plate. There you go. He does pen me, but I'm not really sure what the thought process is, because we do feature so much more DPM 
Oh boy, but we got the E4. Don't really want to fight the E4, gonna be honest. I'm basically holding uh, the enemy team here on my own. There you go, nice shot into the enemy. Uh, we do have the Yag covering us, which is pretty important. I'm hoping that the, uh, the Yag get... Pens the side of an E4, but that's challenging, I forgot. Clearly. I was mistaken for hoping my teammates would be good. Alright, let's aim it on the E4. There you go. I mean, we're getting bonks out, and guess what? We're definitely going to win this. We have too much health to lose at this point. Actually, what I'm hoping right now is that we can turn our turret sideways. Aim it on the rear of that concept with uh, an HE shell. Oh, well, we can't HE him, but I'll take a free 520 damage shot. It's better than uh, focusing on what's in front of me here. But again, do you see how the mouse is just able to lock down an entire flank? You could not do this in any other tier 10. I mean, you might be able to in an E100, but the amount of HP we have makes it almost impossible for this enemy team to beat me. Now I'm going to aim it on the rear of that E4, get a 750 damage max roll. And uh, yeah, I don't think he enjoyed that too much. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to admit that right now. So all that's left at this point is the enemy chieftain Mark VI, who has 102 health. We're just going to poke out, get a nice HE into his track wheel, and there you go. I mean, that was a pretty solid game for the mouse. We didn't block too much, and that's why I'm always confused on whether enhanced is better or HP. Because if we had HP, we actually could have just easily taken another shell from the VK there. But, I don't know. We still did 4K, so I can't get too mad. The DPM allowed us to get out a lot of damage. It's a little annoying that our Yag was, like really bad at petting the side of heavies apparently especially that shot on the e4 but um it's all right because that gave us more damage to farm and we still got the win so uh no, nothing to really get too mad about there oh boy an interesting map to get the mouse on normandy any map that requires gun depression this tank is instantly knocked down on its capabilities because gun depression means you have to show your turret you're actually usually better off showing your entire hull because people will bounce your hull more than they bounce the turret armor. But, on the other hand, uh, we have a lot of HP and we still have decent DPM with alpha damage. So, we'll see. We will indeed see. I'm going to go this way. I feel like it's safer to use this building in front of us. Our E50M is going to poke mid as it is. We got the mouse in front in the Junkie Clan. We also have an E100. We are running rammer, so we don't have much penetration. We're also most likely spotted. Yep. Alright. Well, that's fine. We're just going to head to mid. That mouse has already lost a pretty solid chunk of his HP. And uh, we're just going to get to his side here. Not able to cut through, though. Okay. Got the chieftain camping in the back. Let's aim it on the side of that chieftain. Come on, back up. Come on. He's got to repair his track at some point back up, right? Oh, that works, too. Or not. There you go. Classic mouse moment. <laughs> the gun on this vehicle, again, acting pretty sussler. Then that chieftain just butters right through. <sighs> Man, I'm just trying to get just a couple pens. Alright, well, we got the Karo off to the side, and... Man, I'm, uh... Very disappointed. That's, that's all I can say right now. Very disappointed. Trying to help out the Sheridan as much as possible. There you go. That was an easy bonk. E50. Oh. Yeah, great play from that T100. Not sure what the play was, but it was a great play. Alright, well, let's go low. Let's see if we can help. Oh, wait a sec. Eh, I'll wait for the E100 to look at my teammate. I was kind of hoping I could bonk him, but our E100 went right in the way there. It's alright, though. He penned the shots. I'm not too mad about it. Uh, let's just go low. Let's see if we can hold off these heavies here. We got the mouse, we got the 113, and it looked like a 4202 down here. Yep, there's the 4202. Alright, so let's, uh, let's see if we can get some damage into you. There you go. Nice 409. Let's put on our adrenaline so we out-reload him, hopefully. And here we go. 3, 2, 1. Bunk. There you go. Nice 411 damage shot. Alright, not bad, not bad. Let's uh, maneuver up here now, and then let's hope he bounces. Oh, we also got the Chieftain. Chieftain does not bounce us, but the mouse did. There you go, another nice pen. 488 roll. We can see where the, uh, the gun's doing pretty good here. This is obviously where the mouse DPM is quite nice again. But we don't have the gun depression. I'm telling you, it's, it's the accuracy of this vehicle that really makes you hate it. It's the fact that it, it just misses the easiest shots ever. Now we got the 4202 running, and what I'm hoping is that we can 
HEM, but we didn't have the gun depression. Oh, man. That's really, really getting on my nerves right now. Chieftain's on the side, and I'm hoping that I can help the BZ here, because dude needs some big, big help. All right, let's aim it on the mouse. There you go. Nice 400 roll. BZ's holding. We have the 183 in the back, so at least we got that going as well. All right, let's put on our adrenaline, and... Uh, actually, we don't need to put on adrenaline. That was a bad shot for me. I will admit that fully. All right, let's just uh, move over here. We're going to win this either way, so... Even though I, I had a little bit of a Sussler shot there, it's not going to make much of a difference. Got a pen into the enemy mouse. We're going to overangle our sides, make it very hard for him to pen us. He's like, I don't know where to aim. Oh, no. Bonk. Cut right through his upper plate. Not too much of a challenge there. All right, now we got to aim it on the 113. Can't H. Oh, actually, no, we can H him. Well, I guess it doesn't matter because the BZ bonks him. And uh, all that's left is the Chieftain. All right. We're at 3,000 damage at this point, which is pretty good. Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to get any more out, because that Chieftain's probably going to die to the E50. He did. But, hey, that's a win. We got some bounces. I had a couple Sussler shots on my part, um, but, I mean, it really it didn't matter that game. That was still a super-duper easy win. All right, well, uh, I'm, I'm actually surprised we've won this much already, to be honest. How many games in a row is that at this point? That is... Four games in a row. Oh, no, it's five games in a row. All right, well, let's keep going. Usually, it's your fifth game. You have a really tricky game, but that one wasn't. I, as I said, I'm praying that we don't get Canal, Castilla, or Dead Rail. Those are the three worst maps in the game for the mouse. I don't mind mines. It's a fine map. It's Canal, Port. Uh, Port Bay's pretty mid as well, uh, but Canal, Castilla, and Dead Rail, they are absolutely atrocious. I will take Yamato again. I will take Yamato. I said this on maybe a live stream or something, but I personally believe that Wargaming should make it. Depending on what tank type you drive, you should only be able to get certain types of maps. Now, that doesn't mean, like, like all maps should be removed, but, like, I personally believe that if you're playing in a mouse, you should not be able to play on Castilla or Dead Rail or maps that this tank can't do well on because you're literally just a disservice to your team if you're playing in a tank that you can't play on the map. Like, what are you supposed to do on Castilla in a mouse? Like, seriously. I, I just think that you shouldn't be able to get on maps like that in this vehicle. It would make the drivers do better in the tanks. It would make... It would just make everybody happier all around, to be honest. All right. I mean, obviously, gun depression heavies, I wouldn't mind playing on Castilla. You know, any 113 would be fine because it has mobility. It's just super heavies in general don't do well on certain maps. Certain tank destroyers like the Grill. Why am I playing on Himmelsdorf in a Grill 15? The world will never know. All right, well, it appears that their team has not gone over here. They have a Vickers Light in the back, and they have two 183s. We only have one 183. All right, well, I'm going to try... Oh, interesting. There's a boss shot to own out in the open, and... There you go. That bad chat literally killed himself. I'm not sure why he sat in the open for that, but uh, congrats, dude. All right, well, I'm going to go for the tank destroyers, because... Those are the big boys that we want to get cleared. So that's exactly where I'm going to head. Straight into the rear of their spawn. I have enough HP to literally take a shot from the 183. Oh, what the? Okay. Well, there you go. There it is. Why would you sit there? Why, like, what would you sit there for? I mean, have fun, dude. You're about to lose all of your health for it. So, congratulations! Let's aim it on the enemy 183. Maybe we can get a bonk. Aiming... There you go. 489 damage shot. Yeah, that really went well for you in the 183 there. Oh boy, you got him good. Now we reload. Get a nice shell into this 183. And look at that. Two 183s already dead within the first minute of the game. Well, it's been more than a minute, but you know my point. Like, I don't understand the thought process of certain players. I thought that T-54 was going to stay out, but he kind of just juked me. Alright, so we got a 500 bounce, which means their conf panzer has to be camping all the way in the... Ah, or a 405 has to be camping all the way in the back. Well, we got a pen. Oh, maybe the 405 fired HE at me. That's very possible. I don't know. It wasn't the KPZ. Let's aim it on the 54. There you go. Shell went a little high, but we still got it out, so I can't get mad. Let's aim it on the Sheridan. And... Turning my turret, turning my turret. HE. There you go. Not surprised that 405's not running small liner. 
Uh, this game was closer than it should be, in my opinion. The fact that uh, three of our tanks are dead is is a lot closer than it should be. It's not going to matter. This KPZ, even if he bonks me, we have so much more DPM than his vehicle that we should be able to get some pretty good bonks out here. He's just aiming on the roof of his tank. That was a pretty bad roll. Got the Vickers on our rear. Oh, and we got the 54 on our rear. But if we move over here, we should be good. And bonk. There you go. 430 shot. Not bad. Sheridan clears the enemy uh, Vickers, and that's a win. We literally needed our Sheridan, so I'm glad that our, uh, our Sheridan player is actually pretty good at the game. Because if he wasn't, chance of winning this battle would have been much lower. And wow, we got a max roll into the T-54, clearing him for 560. That was a really, really good win. Little sus. I'm glad that we pushed as aggressive as we did into their spawn, because if we hadn't have, probably would have been a loss. But there you go. 4,904 block, or not blocked, uh, dealt. And uh, another win. So pretty solid stuff coming from the mouse so far, to be honest. I've been really enjoying this. It's very rare that I can just play some battles, have some fun, and enjoy. I feel like this is what peak World of Tanks Blitz is right here, when you can just chill. It's it's bad when you can't chill. I honestly forgot that Faust exists. We have that same mouse that we fought on Normandy up against us, M48 Patton and a T92E1. t 92 is cringe, because the vehicle has the same heat pen as the Sheridan, and while it doesn't have as much DPM, it doesn't really matter. Thing still deals 490 on the heat, which means it can take off a sizable chunk of my HP. Now, our team is doing a bad play here. The 113 and 752 are going to... Yeah, you can see what's happening, because we have two mediums. And they they do as well, but our mediums are, are pretty strong. We got a TVP and a Skoda, so we got two clipper mediums. I just don't know why our 113... Here's what happens. If the enemy goes all to the factory things, then these guys die, and we lose them basically for free. One sec. There you go. And if the... Yeah, I mean, you can already see what's... Actually, no, their team split as well for some reason. Weird, bruh. Alright, well, let's just aim it on the side of the E75 we can. Maybe we can get the VK90. There you go. We're literally a tank destroyer right now. It's working, though. Getting bonks out. Let's reload again. Aim it on the VK. Nope. Why is this gun hitting these shots? It never hits these shots. Um... Okay. Well, E100's... Off in the distance. Oh, we are spotted. I didn't know we were spotted. Okay. That makes more sense. Well, I'm going to ignore... Oh, wait. Wait, we got a free shot coming out here. There you go. We did get bonked by the enemy mouse. And then the E75. But again, that's the whole point of this vehicle, so... Could really care less. Let's just aim it on the enemy mouse. Bonk. There you go. We get a bounce ourselves. E75 can't hit us from this current angle, which is quite nice. However, most likely we'll be able to very, very soon. There you go. Another nice shot into the enemy Super Heavies. I've literally done 3k farming to Super Heavies, but it looks like my fun might be coming to an end very soon. Let's see. Oh, I can't do anything to that E100, bro. Come on, E75, poke it. Oh, really? Really? That's super, super, super disappointing. Alright, let's, uh, let's start to back up. This is just an awful situation right now, I'm gonna be honest. Because, as I said, our team split. So there you go, this is the loss. Yeah. It's unfortunate. We did such a good job this game bleeding out their heavies too. But it just doesn't matter when, when this is your team. Yep. Yep. Yeah. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. We had a good run while it lasted, but it didn't matter. If our team had just stuck together, if the 113 had gotten wide and pushed the M48 Pitbull, it very easily would have been a win. They had three super heavies out of the fight. But it doesn't make a difference because they had a better medium player. And uh, and that's it. That's, that's all she wrote. So we had a decent streak of games here. But you can see the downfall of the mouse. It's simply a better enemy team. And that's the case for any vehicle, but it is mostly the case for the mouse. When you are in a tank that is not mobile enough, like if I was in a medium, I guarantee we would have had a much higher chance of winning. Because in the medium, I would have probably been able to deal with that patent, and we might have been able to win. 
But because they had the patent wide, our team couldn't dig on the side of those heavies. And the moment that happens, I have tanks in my front and tanks on my side. And I'm trying to support the guys on the side who are failing, trying to deal with the tanks on the front. And you can't do both at once, especially in a tank the size of the Great Wall of China. So you can see, unsurprisingly, the heavy that went over to the factory did 400 damage in a tank with 380 mils of heat pen. I mean, the whole team basically fell apart. So, oh well. But we did pretty good. Overall, I, uh, I had quite a bit of fun in the mouse today. I played probably... Well, actually, we can see how I did. I have the stat track here. So overall today, I played nine battles in the tank and went 3,600 average. So that's actually pretty solid. I think the tank's great. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.